What's up, Internet? Stillman here from Rome. Today we're talking camber. So as most of you probably know, camber is built into pretty much every board. And there's a variety of different cambers. We've got a whole selection of them here behind me. And at Rome, we use different cambers to give different boards different riding characteristics. And with that, we'll start with the directional cambers. In front of me, I have the powder division, as we can see, a very directional board. So this is built with our Powder S 3D camber. We got a nice 3D rocker nose here, a little bit of uplift at the contact points. Really helps to float, really gives you a bit of a buttery ride. And then that rocker transitions into a cambered tail from about your front foot back to the end of the board. And the idea there is all about stability, deep landings, throwing up clouds, entering the white room, and having a damn good time. So, the brother, if you will, of the Powder S 3D camber is the Powder S camber. Same storyline here, just not a 3D nose. You're gonna find this in a lot of our split boards. Logic there being that you wanna have as much surface area on snow for when you're going uphill as possible. And again, this is all about stability, charging bigger lines, floating in deep snow, and just having a damn good time at all times. So right here, I've got the Ravine built with our Free the Ride 3D camber. As you can see there, looking at the nose, it's got a nice 3D rocker, we call it the chowder spoon. Idea there is all about float in powder, a little bit more butterability in transitions. And then we have a flat section under the front foot, and that is transitioning to a cambered uh, running length out here into the tail. And overall, this is a really fun all-mountain camber that's not too serious, really allows you to be backseat when you want to be in deeper snow and still, you know, put the landing gear down if you're sending it deep on a side hit or really whatever you can put in front of it. Oh, it's my juice boy. Nice. All right, so up next we have Free the Ride Camber. And this is a rockered nose, flat under the front foot, and camber in the tail. And this is a little bit more of a sturdy all-mountain flex profile. You'll find this on some of the burlier, more rugged boards. All about stability at speeds, charging carves, and uh, really just landing whatever you can put yourself on top of. Yoing! Oh damn, this must be positive camber, my favorite. So right here I have the OG tried and true positive camber. It's your more traditional, predictable, powerful, and as you can see here, it is all loaded up, snap and pop, and it's gonna be used in a lot more of our more freestyle oriented park boards and largely found on true twins. So here I have the Fusion Camber. It's a very popular camber for us and one we're really proud of. This is a modern take on Positive Camber. Same storyline as your basic Positive Camber profile, except that we have small pockets of rocker just outside the contact point. So when you load it up with your weight, that contact point rolls out, essentially making it a bit more versatile and more playful overall. This one's Bone Daddy approved. All right, so here I've got the contact rocker camber profile. This is a flat board, uh, essentially on the full running length with uh, early rise rocker just outside the contact points. This is one of our more playful and butterable camber profiles, a little bit more of a true rocker in some sense. Uh, what I really like about this camber profile is how playful it is, but also really lends itself to all mountain creativity, i.e. it holds up in deeper snow. It's super easy to go back seat. Versatility is the name of the game, and this is the camber profile. So right here we have the contact camber. This is a fully flat camber, a lack of camber, if you will. As the name implies, it makes full contact with the snow. So this is a torsionally playful camber. This allows you to really be in charge. This is a board that you ride, not the board riding you. So it's always gonna be very pressable, very snappy but overall easy to get back seat and has a sentiment of park-oriented pressability. So right here we've got the No Hang Ups Rocker 2.0. That is a flat running length with a 3D rocker in the nose and tail. Idea here being a catch-free riding experience for groms everywhere. This is a board that's gonna be really responsive but also sacrifice nothing as far as performance goes. No edge catch. End of the day, we're trying to get more smiles per mile than Disneyland. Keep them stoked on snowboarding and they'll thank you in five years. Perfect. All right, man. 
So, Ollie, what are we riding today? What? Dude. All right. 